Hello and welcome to SourceCAD. In this video, I will tell you about 2D Align and 3D Align commands. And these two commands are requested by many users on the SourceCAD channel. So here it is finally. I'll start with this 2D Align tool. And here we have this geometry. And this geometry is made by cutting a complete circle in two parts. And here we have this rectangle. Now, let's say that we want this circular portion to move on the rectangle in such a way that it aligns properly with this horizontal line. So it should align in such a way that this line on the circle should completely overlap this line of the rectangle. Now for that I can select the align tool and align tool can be found on the expanded modify panel. So when you expand the modify panel and click here, you'll find this align tool. Select it and click on the object which you want to move and press enter. So now the command line will prompt you to specify the first source point. So specify the first source point and here we have the first source point and now specify the first destination point. So the first destination point will be the point which will directly overlap the first source point. So here is the first destination point. Now specify the second source point and it will be this one and then specify the second destination point which is this one. Now we need to specify the third source point. So we cannot specify all the three points in a linear way. So we need to select a point which is not on this line. So let's select this one, any point on this direction and specify the third destination point anywhere above or below this geometry. So if I specify it above, the geometry will be made above this rectangle. So I'll click here and here we have the final geometry. Now here we have a problem. Although the first point completely aligned and the second line is also in the same direction, but we have this geometry bulging out from this part. So we don't want this geometry to be like this. What if we want this geometry to completely overlap the top of this rectangle? For that, we need to shrink it to make it of appropriate scale or we can use the align tool also directly. So I'll press Ctrl Z to return back to the original condition and then go to the modify panel and select align tool. Now select the object, press enter, specify the first source point, the first destination point the second source point and the second destination point. And now don't specify the third source point and directly press enter. Now you'll notice that the command line changes and it will prompt you to specify whether you want to scale the objects or not. So obviously we now want to scale the objects. Select yes and here we have it. The object is also aligned and scaled properly. So in this way you don't need to scale it manually and it can be done directly using the 2D Align tool. Now let's move on to the 3D Align. For that, I have these two geometries. Now for using the 3D Align tool, you also need to switch to 3D Workspace or you can use its command equivalent, but I'll switch to 3D Modeling. So here in this 3D Modeling, I'll first change its visual style to something more visible. So let's change it to shades of gray from the dropdown. And now here in the modify panel, you'll see this 3D align tool. So let's select this 3D align. And let's say that in this case, we want this face to completely cover this face of the cuboid. Now for that, I'll select this object after selecting the 3D align tool and then press enter. Now we need to specify the base point and the base point will always merge with the destination point. So this one was the first base point. Now specify the second point and I'll specify this one as the second point and then the third one. And once again, in this case also, you don't need to specify the third point in a linear direction. And even if you specify, it will not take that point. So you need to ensure that the third point is not in the same direction and it's on the same plane but in different directions. So here is the third point. Now carefully specify the first point. So this was the first point on the source. So let's make this one on the destination. On the destination, let's make this one as the second point and on destination, make this one as the third point. And here we have the properly aligned 3D object. So we only need to specify three different points for aligning the 3D object. 
and you can see that now the faces are completely overlapping each other. So this was all about 2D Align and 3D Align tools. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment box and don't forget to share this video. Thanks again for watching.